can't remember who, where I first heard this, but I I try to remind myself of this all the time is that like you can't compare your struggles to other people's. Yes. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't compare yourself your struggles to someone else's because yes, someone always has it worse and someone always has it better no matter what, right? And mm-hmm. like you I remember you, you could sit at the dinner table and and it was like, "Oh, well there are people starving in this country." And Like, yes, there are. And that's so important. But like, we are going to make ourselves sick if we're always thinking about how much worse the circumstances could be so we shouldn't be sad or how much better they could be. So we should, you know, like we have to meet ourselves where we're at. Mm -hmm. And if it hurts and it sucks, like it hurts and it sucks. You you should be able to validate your sadness at any level. Like any, it doesn't matter who you are. You Like if you were sad, like you have the right to be sad whenever, right. you know? Yeah. And that. it doesn't take away the fact that someone else has it harder. Yeah. It doesn't. But like, it's, it's like, you can't just tell yourself, oh, well, don't, don't be upset about that. Cause mm-hmm. literally like take a, take an awful situation. You can get, you know, sick with a, a, a disease that could take your life. And it's like, oh, but you could have died <laughs> right. in the womb. Like yeah. there's, <laughs> there's always, there's like the always other, yeah. something. There's always a flip side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I think it's important to, and, but like you're saying though, you have to know your audience of who to go to mm-hmm. because you complaining about like, oh, I have, you know, I'm sad because I feel like people don't know me now that I'm, now that mm-hmm. I'm like having this new found fame. Maybe that's not the person that you, maybe you don't want to talk about that with somebody who is struggling through something at a different point in their life. Maybe mm-hmm. that's something you'd go to a therapist for right. or like a friend in a similar situation. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think once I realized that it was okay mm-hmm. um, and, you know, my best friend and my close family members kind of realized that I needed to like work through something, mm-hmm. I just started like, I think I closed up. And then I realized there was an issue and I kind of was like, okay, I'm done like being sad. I'm Mm -hmm. done staying in this room. I'm done like wasting this opportunity that God has given me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just started to face myself and try to fix what was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that I'm in a really good place now. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely like a constant like keeping yourself in check Mm -hmm. um, being in this type of industry. But I think it's really important to just like – Recently, I've, you know, my relationship with God has gotten a lot stronger. And I think Mm -hmm. that that has helped me so much. That's really good. Um, Yeah. Because, you know, I was watching this sermon by C. Furtnick. I I don't want to say his name wrong, but he's absolutely incredible (laughs) Uh in his sermons. Just the first one that I watched, he discussed, you know, people in social media and how, you know, everybody wants to be famous, to be famous. And Mm -hmm. it's just like, for what? Like what Mm -hmm. for your own self? Yeah. You know, no human being is really built to receive this type of attention. It's not yeah. natural. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's definitely not good for your psyche. Or if somebody oh, might be yeah. on the borderline of something else or, yeah. or dealing with something mentally, like I, I can't imagine because mm-hmm. I've had a really difficult time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I feel like it's so important for us to ask ourselves, how can we be used through this? 